Hey y'all, how's it going? Let me put this music down some. Turn that down. The song says something big is about to happen to me. And I believe that and I receive that. <clears throat> Cause just when the devil thought he's won, I know that God has something good coming my way. As y'all can see, I'm in this rental car, waiting to hear what's going on with my car. Hopefully nothing too big, nothing major. Something that they can fix in a day and I can be back rolling for good this time. So yeah, I just thought that was really, really crazy. It kind of got to me again, but I had to gather myself and remember who my father is, my heavenly father. And I just had to call on him, y'all. I had to call his name. I had to call his name all last night. I couldn't sleep. This morning, I had to go to the bathroom because it was getting kind of rough for me. Sitting at my desk and then people kept coming bother you. You know, it, it, it kept coming bother me. And it seems like whenever you going through something and you're just really trying to hold it together, it seems like people want to come and ask you questions. They always have something to say. They want to talk to you about something. And I don't know if <clears throat> that's God's way of trying to use people to cheer you up or get you to think about something else. I don't know what that is. I'm really not sure. But I just didn't feel like being bothered this morning, y'all. So I had to go to the bathroom <clears throat> and take a breather. I had to take a breather because I just really wasn't feeling it. I'm doing better now. I'm feeling better. I know it's going to get better. And like that song says, something big is about to happen to me. So God wouldn't allow me to go through this if he thought that I was a punk. If he thought I couldn't handle it. And I have to continue to remember that. This is not the first setback I've had. He's always, always made a way for me. And I tend to lose sight of that. I don't know about you guys, but every time I go through something, I tend to lose sight of that. And I have to get myself together. Like, um, don't you remember that time when you were going through such and such? Uh, yeah, who made a way for you then? So who you think is going to have you back now? And I always, always would hope that someone would have my back someone in my family i always will hope someone could have my back but you can't expect anything from people because people will disappoint you so and, and you know no matter how much i try to do right by people sometimes people just can't or sometimes people just they don't know better but one thing i know is i know someone who will never fail me and that's my father so I've just been calling on the name of Jesus, okay? That's what I've been doing to try to get me through this setback that I'm going through right now because I know it's only temporary. I know. It's not the first time I've been through something, and I know it won't be the last. So he's strengthening me for whatever reason. He's preparing me for whatever it is I'm about to receive, and I receive it. I receive it with arms stretched out. I mean, my arms are just open so big y'all I received that I'm so serious because something big is coming my way so I'm grateful for that I still have my home I still have my worldly possessions I mean it, it's nothing but to think some people don't have that I, I'm still in good health and strength a sound mind it's nothing like a sound mind y'all oh my gosh I see so many people walking around here talking to themselves and I mean, I talk to myself too. Don't get me wrong. But I see people having full-fledged conversations with themselves. Laughing, giggling, cussing, fussing, and everything. I mean, just going hard. I see all of that. So I know that there's nothing like a sound mind. So I'm grateful to have that. I still have my daughter. I have my family. 
those who have been supportive of me and been pushing me to continue and not give up. I'm grateful for all of that. It could be worse, like I've said before. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm just going to continue pushing. Like I've encouraged everyone else to do, I'm going to continue pushing. Because I know that something great is coming my way. It gets greater later. All the sacrifices I've made, everything that I've gone through, that I've allowed myself to go through, it gets greater later. So I'm not giving up. And if you're out there and you're feeling like you're at your wit's end and you don't know what else to do, you come to the end of the road and you don't know where else to turn, trust me, it gets greater later. Just hold on, push your way through it. It gets greater later, okay? So, like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, the devil still ain't going to win. God gave you permission, boo. He gave you permission to test me because he know I ain't no punk. He knows this. He gave you permission. You had to get permission from him to test me. He wouldn't have let it be so unless he knew I could handle it. Okay? He gave you permission. It's crazy because he has to go through God to get permission to test us. But I'm going to be all right. I'm good because I'm yet holding on. Are you yet holding on? Well, keep on keeping on then, baby. If y'all would like to continue following me on this journey, nursing journey, life journey, whatever it is, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. Send me a few more subscribers. And y'all have a great day. Be blessed. Bye, y'all.